Just a quick little update and a consideration if, uh, if you're gonna be converting your pool into a, a greenhouse. But real quick, I wanted to show you, we put the wires up on the grapes, so now they're starting to cut across. And this particular grape plant, um, it had made it all the way to the roof and we just cut it off and then it sent side shoots out. So I'm pretty impressed with the grapes. But uh, we had somebody come over and look at the greenhouse yesterday. He's, he's, he's got a pool about the size of mine, was considering doing the same thing. And it's one of those interesting things. He, he asked about heaving and I'm, I'm not a pool builder or anything like that. But he asked about heaving and I basically said, you know, this, this is never going to be another swimming pool, so I'm not really concerned about it. I mean, I'm not worried about walls crushing in. I think if cracks start forming, that I'll see the cracks, that kind of stuff. But anyway, when I was done, you know, I get on YouTube and this is those little, those little uh, twilight zone moments that happen. You know, as soon as I get on YouTube, um, YouTube has this thing in, in Florida where a guy had a, a non-licensed pool guy drain his pool and the next day it heaved up and I'll put the link in the, in the comment section. Um, it was pretty interesting. And uh, basically when you drain a pool at the bottom of a drain, and I don't know when this happened or when it became code, but at the bottom of the drain, and I'm, I'm gonna pretend like this is a drain, there's actually a removable cap on the bottom which opens it up to the, to the earth underneath it. And I, I don't know if mine has it, but uh, this seems to be the solution for those concerned about heaving. So if you have a hole on the bottom drilled into the ground, as water, as water heaves up, it's gonna come through that hole and actually bring dirty water into the pool, and then it'll drain out. And apparently that's how you keep a pool from heaving. Like I said, I'm not a pool builder. This is all YouTube content that made sense. But thinking about this as your bottom drain, I looked at mine and I do have a, my drain comes out this way. So it's a side drain. So the water goes down and, go, and then goes out the side. So I'm assuming I have the bottom cap. Otherwise I would think it would just drain out the bottom. Then I found another one where there's actually a, um, some kind of spring valve in there, like a back plow, back flow preventer that it'll let the water come in spring loaded but then as water tries to drop out it'll stop it so there's two different things and i'll show two different links so you can see what i'm talking about but that may be the answer to the heaving problem um i mean i know that in my area i don't i don't think it's an issue and i, I do re remember reading one article in the paper um there's some my, or quarrying going on, some limestone stone quarrying going on probably within two miles of, of my place. And uh, a guy had an empty pool and it cracked and it was winter time, but he blamed it on the quarry for the dynamite. But, you know, that, I kind of thought that was not really true because I always heard you're not supposed to keep a pool empty anyway, uh, because it could crack. Anyway, so that's, that's, a big thing so I'm gonna get down into my hatch there is water in there I'm gonna to have to completely drain it get a shot back and start sucking out that bottom drain because there's muck in there at this point and see if I have a cap and if I don't have a cap I'll probably get a uh, a hole saw and just drill a hole through it like I said we're we're not gonna convert this thing back into the pool so I'm not I'm not worried about it but anyway just a little update and probably the biggest question people have asked me um, about the pool and maybe we have an answer to it and um i don't know we'll see i mean honestly only time's gonna tell anyway y'all have a great day